Well hello folks and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I thought we'd have a look at a, an older piece of photographic equipment belonging to my late father. Um, I think it's probably around 40 years old. Um, I can certainly remember it, uh, him using it uh, when I was just very young um, and it's been sort of stuck up with a lot of stuff that uh, I have from my, my father, um, his photographic equipment etc etc. And uh, just thought it'd be interesting to show you folks uh, this really old, uh, well it's an exposure meter, it's a Hanimex Siconic. I think Hanimex uh, Siconic was a, a, an Australian company, um, sort of, and I think this meter is probably around about the 60s, um, that sort of era there. Um, it still comes in, it's still got its, its original uh, leather case. Um, if you happen to see a, a cat, head, a cat's head appear in the picture, that's uh, Odin or Bengal. Um, he's a bit uh, nosy, but I could carry on, and hopefully he'll get fed up with uh, being on camera. But as we have here, we have uh, this is it's a nice leather case. Let me just zoom out a tad. Um, right, so that's Odin's foot. There's Odin. Um, thank you very much. Have you have you finished? You just shift your backside over a bit then I can carry on thank you right so this you have a nice leather case um, it's in very good condition a few marks on it um, you're gonna sit there right? okay thank you he's just out of shot let me just zoom in a tad there on that as you mean he says you can see the sort of case there um, it's, it's a very small piece of equipment uh, very small meter probably by today's standards but yeah, there it is, and uh, we go out again a bit. That's it. So you pop the case open, and basically, that's your meter. So I just bring it in a bit, and you can see it's your meter there. Yeah. So what we'll do is I'm going to take it off of the um, the leather case because it's a bit of a pain. You just slide this. I mean, obviously, it's much neater in the in the case there we go right so I just put this stuff out of the way sorry for the hands so basically that's your let's just get that out of the way that's your uh, uh, meter Oop, I didn't see it there so. so on the front there you have the the, the uh, meter um, the various you know the uh, calculator if you like around there and I and I believe there's some um, parts actually missing, whether he ever never had them or whether it was uh, got lost, I don't know. But according to the instructions, which I still have the original instructions, there is a, um, what they call in instructions, a light amplifier, which slotted into the bottom there. Uh, so on very dull days, you would use that, or inside. And it also had a diffuser that went on the front there as well. Now, basically, there's two two settings on this thing, if you like. What you have, if it's a very very bright day, which is today is not. If it's a very very bright day, you have it in its what it is set up at the minute. And uh, if you can see on the front, there's a little um, window, a little door, and a little slot in. And on very dull days you would have this thing open if I just pop that there so you now you can actually see the the needle deflected so that would be on very dull days and then obviously if you're inside you would have the amplifier as well so you put my finger you can see the meter deflecting so it actually works so as it's very dull we'll be in we will leave it open now what you do is you dial the ASA into this little window here you can see my fingers in the way you can see it's very difficult and I'm still very new to YouTube videos so I do apologize for my amateurish uh, setup as it were but it is very amateurish you wouldn't believe so you set the ASA in there and then because we have the door open you have to read off of a different scale so because the door is open on the front of the uh, meter you read off of the blue scale and I don't know whether you can see there the little blue under my finger little blue sort of um, markers so if it was on the blue if it's today you'll be on the blue scale and if it was very very bright you would have the door shut and it would be reading off of the 
the red scale, which is right down here. And I think, I believe, when you have the um, monitor plugged in, I think, I'm not sure, but whether you read off that one, that might be just film. I haven't uh, thoroughly read the instructions. I suppose I should have done, really, before I uh, made the video. But, basically, so if you're going to take a photograph using the meter, you set your ASA, which obviously is going to be on your film case, and then your light source, obviously the meter is deflected, so you choose the nearest segment within that um, pattern on the front to line up with the blue so just for that there we're going to line that up you can see that there I've lined it up with that one you can see that sort of I mean as I move it the meter does change slightly so now we're lined up with that you can now read off your uh, aperture and shutter speeds to whatever suits your your um, photographic condition. So it's saying it's f 2.8 at what's that five hundredths of a second. So if you was going down right down to like five point six, at five point six, you'd be in the region of um, a fifth, uh, fiftieth, or even a twenty fifth of a second. Um, so that's basically how it works. It's, it's nothing more. Oh, I'll have to kick the tripod. I do apologise. I'm not going to uh, redo it. Um, but that's basically how it, how it works. Um, with that there, I, I'm not sure about the these. The red ones are actually film uh, settings. Around. I don't know if you can see that on the bottom there. The red's actually uh, film settings there. And that is it, that is nothing more than the Siconic Hanimex or Hanimex Siconic light meter. Uh, I did measure it against the settings off of my D300 camera and they are pretty accurate. I haven't actually used it to take photographs um, using just solely the meter, but the actual meter readings that I'm getting from the D300 is actually pretty much the same as what I'm getting for this. Um, as you can see, the, the meter is deflected now because it's in the shadow. If I point it up, and I think you can also, according to the instructions, you can use it to do reflected readings, um, you know, spot readings, etc. But I think they all work in the same way, which is in essence, you just select your film speed. So, obviously, if you was a higher film speed, you would just slide this little toggle, uh, slide that little toggle around there. And uh, choose your, your film speed ASA 200, 100. So if you were to go right up to say a thousand, which is uh, no, that's 1600 actually. It doesn't it doesn't have it. It goes 800 to 1600. So it's maxed out at a thousand. So now, if it was a, we were using, see the the meter hasn't changed position, but we can actually now slightly move that. And that's now given us a slightly different shutter reading there, on there. Um, obviously, again, if it was in bright conditions, you can see the meter is deflected right down, but you would now read off of the the uh, red scale. And I think it's very difficult because it's right down in there. But now it's actually giving very, very. I don't know if you can see that it's off the off the scale, f8 at a thousand. If you were to go back to 200. Yeah, the readings are very much similar to what we get in before, but we're using the red. But obviously, we're not going to be so accurate now, so pop it open and uh, go around there. And we're sort of on that one there, on the edge of that one there, we'll see. So that's your sort of scale in, in between the black. It's, it's very difficult to see. But that, folks, is a Siconic. Light meter or Hanimex, I think they dropped the Hanimex. I think Siconic still make light meters or did until recently. Um, but that is the Siconic Hanimex light meter. Seems to work very well. Um, just a little curio there for um, anybody interested in older photographic equipment. Um, I did look on eBay. They're selling for around about twenty to twenty-five pound on eBay. That's UK. Um, with the case, but it would seem that most of them has the um, amplifier, the light amplifier, and the um, diffuser on the front. So unfortunately, it probably wouldn't be worth that much. But I've no intention of selling it anyway. So uh, it's 
not really of any problem. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the uh, Hanimet Siconic uh, exposure meter. Uh, thanks for watching. I do apologise for um, the cat. And uh, you still sat with me watching that the wind. I do apologise for the cat and uh, my rather amateurish setup that I have. It's very difficult um, at the minute to do decent videos. Um, but uh, I'm sure that will change in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching and uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you.